Okay, time to clean this up just a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my movie a little bit taller. I don't have my images are coming in a little big, so I'm just going to make my movie a little taller. Obviously, you have to have your thumbnails and your images the right size. So I'll, I'll change that to 650 height. All right, so that's even taller. I can move these down now, right? And then this box here, I can move that up a little bit, right? And then try it again and click on the image and it loads. Alright, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to move this down just a little bit more and maybe move that up a little bit more. No, just move this down a little bit more. I could also, if I wanted to, make this smaller. I get my transform tool and make it smaller. Um, I'm going to go inside of it, double click, actually get my selection tool and I, I want I want this to be a little bit slower, right? So I'm just going to highlight here and hit F5 to insert frames. Or you could just right click, insert frame. That's going to insert another 20 frames. So do that a couple times. And now when you hit Control Enter, you can see it moving across the bottom here. It's moving a little bit um, slower. Let me see if I can move this down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it's moving a little bit slower. There's only one image that's live right now, and that's this one. And it loads the image right here, right? It's still tracing. So let's fix that, okay? We go in, scene one, here's our code. And I can get rid of the trace, okay? And I can get rid of this trace. Okay, and I can close that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this whole thing, copy, and paste. All right, and I can say image 2, and image 2. All right, and I have to know what image 2 actually looks like. Okay, the image 2 looks like this. So I go in my folder where I have all my files, view as a list. Right here are all my files, right? My thumbs and my images, and then my flash file and my flash movie, right? And I'm looking for this one, which is medium9.jpg, right? So then back in my code, I'll just change that to medium9. All right, and now that's ready to go. Now if I wanted to, I could highlight this whole thing, copy, paste, and then change this to image um, 3, image 3, image 4, image 4, and the images I'm looking for are medium 10 and medium 12. So I could say medium 10, 10, 12, 12. All right, and then that'll handle four, all right, the first four. Medium 7, medium 9, medium 10, medium 12. Okay, so I hit Control Enter, and now all these links should be live, right? And they all load the images when I click on them, right? And they're just constantly scrolling. I don't have all of them done yet. So, just to show you how easy it is to get them all done. Okay, I'm looking for medium 13 and 15 and 17. Okay, so back to my code. Scroll to the bottom. Copy. Paste. And this is going to be um, image 5. Image 5. And instead of medium 12, this will be medium 13. 13. And I also need medium 15. So I'll just copy this. Copy. Paste. Image 6. Image 6. And medium 15. And medium 15. So now this works this works, 
and this works. Oh, wrong image here. That's okay. I need the portrait, not that. But that's a problem, not in my code, but in the fact that I don't have, I've got the thumb for it. Um, whoops. I've got the thumb for it, just not the medium-sized image for it. Uh, medium 17. Okay. So, and now it's all working. Okay. And that's your image scroller on the bottom. It loops continuously. If it moves too fast, all you do is double click on it. On the next layer where you see how your animation plays out, just really quickly click and drag to highlight and then hit F5 a couple times and that will slow it down a little bit. You'll see now it's slowing down even more. Alright, thanks a lot.